Hi Virgo, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your reading for March 1st to the 7th. Sorry, I didn't even shuffle yet. March 1st to the 7th. Um, spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from March 1st to the 7th in love and romance. What does Virgo need to know? Oopsies. Falling all over the place. Let's try again. It's like the cards are jumping. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from March 1st to the 7th, please. What does Virgo need to know? There we go. All right, Virgo. Third party situation, divine timing at play, healing at play from a third party situation. More than one person involved. I don't know if it's you who's got two people or it's somebody you're dealing with that has more than one person. And temperance is showing the willingness to wait. Or maybe trying to take a break from this situation to try to figure things out. Let's see. What else is there? Temperance is a very tranquil healing card. It speaks to divine timing. And being more moderate in your choices. Whatever you're doing too much or too little of to try to heal those things. Especially like diet, health, things like that. So what else, what else do we have for Virgo, please? What else does Virgo need to know for March 1st to the 7th? What else does Virgo need to know for March 1st to the 7th, please, in love and romance? All right, blocking. Yep, blocking. There's some kind of offer of love here, and you're not even seeing it. Seven of Wands is standing your ground and blocking. Blocking an offer of love, being focused on the past. For some people, it could be not even seeing your cup is full. Being stuck in a rut. We've got... Some heartbreak, loss, disappointment. And Empress. Could be a Taurus. It's about something that you were trying to create, maybe. Because an Empress is usually depicted pregnant. And she's all about giving birth to life. To everything. The arts, beauty, the world, nature, children. So whatever you've been trying to bring forth or create or manifest, something that you've been trying to give birth to, some idea, whatever it is, there's some kind of loss or disappointment there. Anything else that we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 1st to the 7th in Love and Romance, please? We got Waiting. And that's another one of more than one person. More than one person. Wanting to work it out. Waiting and wanting to work things out. There's long distance involved too with the Three of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles is working hard. In Love and Romance, it could be wanting to work things out, be the bigger person. Turn the other cheek, give it your best shot to try to make things work. Now we got here Fear and the Tower. Maybe got into a fight, said some things. Maybe, you know, somebody got angry. And it is now making you feel restricted or fearful or some kind of news, sorry, some kind of news with the tower that's like shocking and it scares you, some kind of information, I don't know, something. The tower is sudden change and it's kind of scary sometimes because you see people falling out of the tower. Someone from your past, someone from your past with a six of cups and the world is it travel? Someone from your past? Something coming to a completion? Maybe some big achievement? It's about a cycle coming to an end with somebody from your past. Completion of a cycle with someone from your past. Somebody's watching Page of Swords and Five of Wands. It's a very insecure energy with the Page of Swords and Five of Wands. It's like keeping tabs on something and making you jealous or angry or upset or there's some kind of pettiness or fighting. Um, and here we've got clarifying this, the King of Wands. can be somebody who is from a warm climate or somebody who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone who's like this. This is a very charming, outgoing, 
um, inspiring person to be around. They're always, always excited and enthusiastic about life. What else do we have here? What else do we have? Any other messages for Virgo? We'll pull two love oracle cards to try to make some sense out of this. What else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? What else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What else do we have for Virgo? There we go. So it's saying, staying stuck or sacrificing your happiness for others. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Could be somebody in university age and earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Early 20s or younger. Or it could be that somebody is bringing in some kind of opportunity or a gift or offer of a relationship or something. And the hangman is feeling stuck, staying still, not moving forward yet because it benefits other people for you to be where you are. And we are enthusiasm and the star card. Enthusiasm and hope. And very intuitive, open, receptive, healing energy here. This is all fantastic for, uh, looks like towards the end of March 1st to the 7th. But we still have the blocking energy here with the Nine of Wands. Feeling hurt. Here we have that feeling hurt energy as well. Here, like fear and restriction with some news coming in. And there's fighting here with the Five of Wands or competition in love. So let's see, what do we have with Amira's Love Oracle? There we go. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Freedom. Wanting to be free. Past life connection. Anything else? Anything else? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For March 1st to the 7th, please. Anything else for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo, please? So freedom is a thing for you. There's a lot of healing energy, I have to say, aside from the drama, which there is also a lot of temperance and all this watery energy with the queen of cups and the star it's very much of like cards of patience self-care moderation being open you know analyzing your feelings and feeling those feelings and pushing through it and healing there's a lot of excitement and ideas as well with the eight of wands things moving quickly don't block it Okay, so this is a no. Let's pull a Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Spirit Guides, Romance Angels. Is there any other messages for Virgo? What the heck? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from March 1st to the 7th in Love and Romance, please. Thank you so much. Any other messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from March 1st to the 7th? Unrequited Love. Okay, so I don't think you cared as much as the other person did. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, see, because you're blocking. Somebody's offering their cup and, and you're like, hands crossed, not interested. Unrequited. And saying very soon, decide what you want and then it comes to you. It's like you're not happy with the option that you were given and you want to be free. And, and this is a card of blocking, nine of wands. That's a card of blocking seven of wands and fear. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So still getting to know each other better. And there might be a reconciliation with that. Someone from your past returning to your life. Maybe that's the other person. Let's pull um, a wild Kuan Yin pocketbook edition by Alana Fairchild. There it is. The loving push. Sacred grandmother will nudge you when you need to take a step comfort you when you become uncertain and provide the means for you to move towards your destination, which is, of course, your divine destiny. When you feel the divine pushing you, leap, the loving push. And sh it shows this woman skipping across a pond and some rocks. Okay, anyway, so we're going to put that there, the loving push. I'm going to end it with one. No, I'm just going to use a different I'm going to use the Love Your Inner Goddess cards by Alana Fairchild also.
Spirit Guides, is there any messages for Virgo for March 1st to the 7th? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know for March 1st to the 7th? There we go. Daring Dreamer. Change the way you see, not the way you look. Number 20. And on the bottom is, on your own terms, she waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself. It was a very good day. So those two cards. And I'm going to read those to you. Number 20. I'm just going to read the inner reading part because there's a whole bunch after that, spiritual guidance, sacred ritual. It's, this is the deck. You can just Google it if you want to know the rest of it. So it says, You don't need to adjust your dreams to fit in with what others say is realistic, sensible, or practical. Why seek to limit the power of the universe with negative expectations? Be uncompromising with your heart wisdom. Listen to what it wants and yearns for and believe that the universe has put those desires there and will show you every step to take to fulfill them. Do not allow someone else to make you feel like you should change who you are or what your heart truly yearns for. Not even a tiny bit. Not even for one single second. And then we have number 35. On your own terms. You are not the person you once were. You know it, but other, others might not always be ready to let the old go so easily. Do not allow yourself to be shoved back into patterns of behavior that are not true to who you are now. You've worked hard to grow and become this new self. Believe that she is more real than the old you, even if she is less familiar to you, to others, sorry, and maybe even to you at this stage. All that will change and what is new now will become familiar and easy for you to sustain in the near future. Be stubborn in a good way whilst you and others around you come to realize that the new you is the real you. That's your reading, Virgo. I think that was a beautiful message. I really like this card um, and freedom here. So there's two different love stories. There's an unrequited and a saying, you know, very soon pick what you really want and then it'll come to you. This is a loving push saying the time is now. You'll, when you feel the push, leap. Um, and then getting to know each other with somebody and reconciling with them. And that might be, you know, getting back together or it might be just making peace and rec reconciling whatever happened that didn't work out. All right. So I'll be back with your next week's readings after these. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now.